Well, hello, my name is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber. And welcome to video two of the vent stack series. Now today we're not gonna be talking about vent stacks. We're gonna be talking about sizing solar waste stacks in a large building. All code references are made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. First, we're gonna start focusing on sizing the solar waste stack. There's a couple different nuances that we're gonna to need to know because of the size of the buildings that we're gonna be using a vent stack with. So if I focus on the third floor there, I have six fixed units draining through the soil waste stack from the story above. That's six fixed units, including one water closet or toilet. Well, let's look at table 2416A and see what it has to say about that. So to start, I have a water closet draining through there. Therefore, the minimum size of drain there needs to be three inch because of it. So if I look down on the left hand side to three inch and then come across to the right, Maximum hydraulic load is 102 fixture units. But if I go over to the next column, it says maximum fixture units drained from any one story is 18. I only have six. I am happy. That can be three inch. Let's look at that solar waste stack coming through the second floor. It's being fed by six fixture units from the fourth floor, 18 fixture units from the third floor. That gives me a grand total of 24 fixture units. Look back to table 24106A. If I come across at three inch, I was good to 102 fixture units maximum, which I'm within, and maximum 18 from any one story. I'm still good with three inch on that second floor soil waste stack. When we get to the soil waste stack draining through the first floor, we're gonna see that we have 19 fixture units and two water closets draining from the second floor down. We only have 43 fixture units total there, but because of that 19 fixture units, we now exceed maximum 18 fixture units coming from any one story for three inch. So we got to bump it down to four inch where we can have a maximum of 540 fixture units and 100 fixture units from any one story. In this next diagram, we're gonna see that we meet all the requirements for a three inch soil away stack. I have maximum 54 fixture units and maximum 18 from each floor. We do have three water closets draining from the third floor though. If I look at clause 2492, part two, branch and building drains downstream of the third water closet fixture drain connection shall not be less than four inches in size. So because I have three water closets draining through the branch on the third floor, everything downstream of that branch connection is going to be four inch in size minimum. Now this last soil away stack example meets all the requirements for a three inch soil away stack, maximum 72 fixture units and maximum 18 per story. And you'll notice that I only have two water closets on each story, but we do have one more code clause to review. Clause 2492 part three. So the waste stacks that serve more than six water closets shall not be less than four inches in size. So if I start looking at water closets from the top down, I got two on the fourth floor, two more on the third, that makes four, two more on the second, that makes six, that's our maximum. That means I can be three inch soil away stack throughout that whole length. But as soon as I tie in those two extra water closets on the first floor, our soil away stack is turning into four inch. Well, hopefully this all made sense to you and stay tuned for video three in the vent stack series. Until then, you have yourself a stupendous day.